Hey everybody, it's Russ from Russ Plays Games. Um, I'm here in Hobby Lobby. Um, before I do anything here, um, I'm just going to show I found this um, brush set. It's a bunch of detail brushes uh, for like 20 bucks. And I got some new palettes. Um, what I want to talk about briefly is some of the paints. And I'm going to kind of do this. Now, I would not recommend this Americana brand. It's a little bit thin. I have, um, I think it's this burnt orange or it's orange flame um, right, up, right up here. And um, it's not the best. Um, it's very thin, so you have to put on like a bunch of coats to make it stick. Um, the one that I would recommend the most is this Folk Art brand. Full Garden is probably some of the best paints. Um, it has really good pigmentation. It has very good stuff. Um, another one that's okay, I've used it before, um, is the Anita's paint. Um, again, it's okay. It's not the best. Um, but I know I have like one of their one of their other paints um, at home. I just don't remember the exact color. But um, anyway, so. That's um, what I'm gonna recommend. And then right behind me here, this is the metallic paints, and those are definitely ones that you wanna get, um, especially if you wanna paint. They have a nice, um, they have a really decent selection of metal paints. So like a bunch of different golds and bronzes and reds and greens and blues. So definitely pick up some of those. Um, I, I usually pick up like some different golds and then I'll go for like, like a red, like a red metallic, and then I'll go for a purple metallic, and then I'll go for like a blue metallic. Um, just because I, I like to have, and I'd go for also a green metallic, so like something similar to this, okay? Um, because when I like to paint things, sometimes I like to paint blades or armor in the metallic colors, and they shimmer more in the light when they do that. So that's just something to look at. Um, so yeah, and then they also have like a whole bunch of like holographic illusions paints and glitter paints. And here's the dragonfly glaze um, that some people use. So there's a whole bunch of different paints here. You have to come to the craft section. If you go to the acrylic section, this is where I found them in the acrylic section. Okay, where I found these uh, paint palette and, and these guys um, is in their normal paints by their canvases. But if you come back to the back to the back of the store and you come here to the craft section. And also, they have a whole bunch of um, decent paints, um, like big bottles of paint. So um, anyway, so definitely come here, check it out, um, and then, you know, just let me know what you guys find, and I will, I will continue with my painting here. Um, I've been busy with a job, I've been sick, so I haven't uploaded in a while, so I'm gonna upload this and then, um, and then in the future, um, I'll be able to come out and do a little bit more painting. Um, I ended up kind of painting up RC, um, so I'll, I'll show that off once I'm done. But um, And I'll have to put some things around her um, feet to kind of help hold her in position because she tends to pop off of her base. So I'll do some things with that, and then I'll show, I'll show you how I painted that, and then we'll just um, kind of go from there. But this is just a quick update just to kind of show you that, you know, it's like you can find... A whole bunch of different um, paints. One of the things you want to be careful of is don't get enamel paints, okay? Those are very, very bad. And unless you want really shiny metals, don't get like glossy paints, okay? The, the glossy paints are not good. You want matte paints and you want metallic paints. So um, anyway, I guess I'll just go ahead and, and sign off and uh, I hope you guys have a good day and happy painting.